Hello, and welcome to the world of tomorrow. We're making a pod racer is possible in Kerbal Space Program. Magnificent game. Oh man, I love it. You will need to start with a prop core, add a deal, add a seed. Yeah, that's the basic. Then you can shape your cockpit as you want. Just make sure you add some lift on the back and enough room to add some air brakes. After that, you will need to make a T-shaped structural part. You will need to add it with a decoupler because this will be thrown away as fast as we start. Now, add some engines. I like this configuration, it's like the Anakin's one in the movie, but you can try to make it with four engines, I don't know, I'm sure you will find lots of ways doing it. Remember to add some SAS and a prop core in both engines, because we will be controlling the ship from the engines. Add some air intakes and jet engines. Now we will be using quantum struts. Those little thingies are some kind of laser beams, quantum physics things that hold everything they touch together. The connection is really strong and will hold both engines like they are the same. This is really important and also looks really nice unlike the movies. Now we need to add some structural parts or wings like I'm doing right now to hold the Kerbal attachment systems parts. Those parts will bring us with the wires that we need to make this thing work. Remember the radial attachment points and of course the winches. And now we add a command pod. That way we will be able to bring a Kerbal to the runway when we launch this ship. This part will be thrown away just like a T-shaped part in the middle. Because of that we add septrons to all those parts. After all, they are just here for the configuration. You can add some wheels, some repulsors, whatever you like. And of course, don't forget the clamps, they are really important and you will know why soon enough. This is what you will get in the craft file. It's modified from the one you saw previously. I added the mod Kerbal Foundries, which is those things you see here are generators and those round things you see under the engines and on the sides, also on the cockpit, are repulsors. It will make the ship hover like it is supposed to do, just like in the movies. I also widen the base to make it more stable when hovering. The cockpit needs lift on the back in order to keep following straight when you are flying. Also you need the tile fins, vertical fins, to make it go more stable. That way you won't be needing to use the air brakes all the time. Anyway they come really handy and are really helpful when you lose control. This is how we start. So, first of all, we need to take the Kerbal back. This time, we are bringing Jebediah. Let's take it here. Go a little bit back. Change ship. Stage. And bye bye. Now we pick our Kerbal and grab connector. Move, 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 Look. move, 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 It's a shame you can't do this in the editor. Oh, 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 no. Okay. Well, this shit happens. There's no problem, guys. You see, that's so easy. I swear to God, I did this like 500 times already and it's the first time that I fell down and it's the time I recorded, but I don't know, this can happen. So it's alright. Yeah, okay, duck. Now you 
get inside your seat and now we eject the T part okay and you will see something happens yes right now we lost the ship integrity we are three ships okay two engines and the cockpit we need to gain back that control so you need to be controlling this one as we are now and we show the UI and we click dock and dock and here we are now it's one ship because we lost ship integrity we need to make something before we start so we need to make the a the height of the repulsor say group one six it's fine you can think about this as you want it's fine there is one thing you must do before releasing and it's control from one of your engines if you don't do that the same moment you click SAS everything will go nuts okay and now we eject again e stage and that's all we're flying click and click and let's give them some power have the action groups whoa yeah that can happen no okay now let's go to the desert welcome I have been expecting I'm looking forward to completing your training in time you will call me master Turn to the dark side <laughs> Tempted by the dark side. Mm, the dark side clouds everything. 